Aim at 4408 Galbraith, Sacramento 95842. We're located on a pretty busy street, as you can see. It's a stop sign there, cars coming and going. So one of the main feeder streets this is the front yard. This roof is definitely need to be replaced. Sagging gutters. We got a front window there is broken out. Um, some damage over here to the fence. Looks like we've got a couple of tree stumps here in the front yard um, that probably at some point should be removed. Okay, as we go in the front, we have a combination living room, dining room here. There's a hole in the front window there. Um, there's some additional hole on that window and then the other two are just boarded. We're missing the light fixture here. Stepping through into the kitchen. We are missing a dishwasher and the stove. This window is actually cracked and both uh, seals are broken. The cabinets, some of the drawers and stuff need some repairs. In the family room, um, we've got a window there that the seal is broken on. The latch on the sliding glass door needs to be replaced. We have stains in the ceilings here through evidence of leaks. Heading down the hall here, we've got a bath, half bath at the front here. Looks okay. The sink's kind of older, but needs a toilet seat. Laundry room, for the most part, is okay. Um, probably needs some flooring and some paint. Out into the garage here, we have the side door is all chewed up. We've got a bunch of paint and chemicals that are here. And if you look around, this isn't a star show. These are open holes in the roof where you can see light coming through. And I would suspect we have that all through, even above the bedrooms inside. At the top of the stairways, we just have a, a window there is Seal is broken. Upstairs bathroom here. Doesn't look too bad. Actually, it's a little bit dirty, but functional. We're probably missing a towel bar. Probably need new carpet and paint all the way throughout. Just needing a light there. Here's the master bedroom. There's a fireplace in here. Um, takes up a lot of space. A lot of the wall space. You've got some discoloration here. We have looks to be an active leak. We've got uh, missing our closet shelves and pole in this closet. Vanity is functional, but it's it's beat up. Tile floors, and we've got the shower. Shower pan's dirty. The tile surround actually looks pretty decent. We've got a lot of discoloration in the ceiling here. And over here too. Heading down the hallway, we're going into bedroom number two here. We have more evidence of leaking of the roof. And we're missing a set of closet doors, but other than that, probably carpet and paint in here. Be fine. We see evidence of some kind of damage or leaking in the hallway ceiling. We're into the third bedroom here towards the back of the house. For the most part, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like there's been some work along the window seal there. This is really kind of a carpet and paint, a little bit of leak, uh, signs of a leak there. And into the fourth bedroom at the back here. Again, we have another dual pane window that's failed and we're missing another set of closet doors. Okay, we're in the backyard. We've got a covered patio area. Some of the siding there needs a little bit of work. We need some fence repairs in the back here. We've got our air conditioner condenser is completely stripped out. Um, we've got siding here that's rotting all along here. For the most part, I think the entire back of this house probably needs to be resided. If we go around the far edge, we can get a look at those windows that we saw earlier that were boarded up. Siding on this side of the house 
looks okay. Okay, we're on the far side of the house and there's that garage door I was looking at earlier. That needs replacement. 